guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Rex Finance, and today I'm getting back into a very popular series on this YouTube channel where we preview three stocks to buy in the upcoming month. Along with this series, we'd like to start off these videos by reviewing the last month's picks and seeing how those three stock picks performed over the last 30 days. That way, you as a viewer can decide upfront whether you want to listen to me or not. In all seriousness though, I am a long-term investor with a long-term mindset. I think that's how you win in the stock market. I am not concerned about how stock picks are performing over a 30-day period and I don't think you should be either. However, it is fun to go back and see how these stock picks performed over the last 30 days, so we're going to do just that in today's video. But before we get started, I want to say thank you to Tommy and Matt for subscribing to the YouTube channel. If you guys are new here or returning and not yet subscribed, please feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. I also want to say thank you to Fresh for joining Rex Nation, and I want to say thank you to Ryan for renewing your Rex Nation membership. If you guys are interested in getting my buy and sell alerts and all that extra good stuff, hit the join button down below located right next to that same subscribe button. And if you don't see the join button, there will be a link to my Patreon and a pinned comment down below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. The three stock picks we had for the month of July were AMD, Coinbase, and then the third stock pick was actually a group of stocks in the solar industry. So to start things off, that first pick was AMD. When I made this video, and you can see this on the screen, AMD was trading at around $93, $94 per share. In July's installment of this series, I actually stated that I felt that AMD's stock price was going to be well over $100 per share the next time we check in on it a month later. I even went further and said I thought it would be closer to $110 or $120 per share. So let's see how exactly we are sitting. As of today, AMD is trading at around $109 per share. So we are well above that $100 per share price level that I mentioned last month, and we're actually even close to that $110 price threshold that I set last month as well. At one point, just a couple days ago, AMD actually did hit $110 per share. So it's safe to say that this stock pick was a major success for us. Moving on, my second stock pick for the month of July was Coinbase. At the time you can see on the screen, Coinbase was trading at around $253 per share. During this video, I mentioned that I felt Bitcoin was gonna make a massive recovery sometime in the month of June. And I felt that as a result of that, Coinbase stock would go up as well exponentially. However, despite Bitcoin being up almost $5,000 since July's installment of this series, Coinbase's stock really didn't benefit. It wasn't a major loss down only two and a half percent over the month of July, but it was still negative. For Bitcoin prices being way up around the $40,000 level, Coinbase should have recovered quite a bit, but we didn't see that. So going forward, I actually believe that Coinbase is going to be a great stock to own and buy in the month of August, but it's not going to be one of the picks we make in today's video because I got three fresh new picks for today. Lastly, as I already mentioned, our third stock pick for the month of July was a group of stocks in the solar industry. I mentioned that I felt solar stocks were going to do very well starting in the month of July and showing strength throughout the rest of the year. However, over the course of July, we had some winners, some losers in the solar industry. So overall, I think my third stock pick, the group of stocks is kind of another meh. It was kind of like Coinbase where it wasn't really down big, but it wasn't up big either. So overall, I'm going to say we were one in oh and two for the month of July, meaning we had one win, zero losses and two meh's. We're starting to see exactly what I felt we were going to see in the solar industry as well with Solar Edge reporting their earnings after hours today. And they're up over 11% right now in after hours trading. I feel like all solar stocks are going to have really good earnings reports throughout the rest of the year. And overall, I still think solar stocks are good buys in the month of August. But again, I have three fresh new stock picks for today in the month of August. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these new picks. All right. So stock pick number one for the month of August is actually one that I've never talked about on this YouTube channel. I mentioned them briefly briefly just a couple weeks ago in the members only discord server to premium members and stated that I'm looking at buying into this company. But other than that brief discussion in the discord server, I have not talked about this stock. So you guys are in for a treat today. This company AST Space Mobile, ticker symbol ASTS is a former SPAC. What they're focusing on is providing a broadband connection for the billions of smartphone users in the world via satellite. So without the cell towers. So if you're up in the mountains without connection, you can connect to AST Space Mobile and still have great connection, broadband connection. Think about the use cases in natural disasters when cell towers go down. You can still connect to a satellite and get help quicker. There are just so many use cases for this. Now, there is a caveat for this. This all sounds awesome, very innovative. But what Space Mobile is doing is not going to be available until 2023. Late in 2022 is when ASTS is going to launch 20 satellites. Following that, the customers will come. And by 2027, this company is estimating $10 billion in revenue 
with 90% margins on that revenue. Meaning out of that $10 billion in revenue, 9 billion of that will hit the bottom line and be profit for the company. However, again, they won't have customers and they won't have operations until 2023. And that's without any potential delays. But the reason I really like this stock for the month of August is because that throughout the rest of the year, I really feel that the hype for innovative stocks is going to come back. And obviously an innovative company like AST Space Mobile is going to thrive in that environment. What separates AST Space Mobile from any other player in the industry is that they have patent protected technology that allows me to connect my iPhone to a satellite to get that broadband connection. Even Starlink is going to require users to purchase additional expensive hardware in order to connect to the satellite. But AST Space Mobile, I don't need to purchase anything else except a $5 subscription to AST Space Mobile to use their services. No other company out there can offer that with no hardware and with existing iPhones and Androids, giving users the ability to have a broadband connection no matter their environment or where they're located. Again with Space Mobile, the revenues are not going to exponentially increase in the month of August to cause the stock price to go up. Nothing like that. I simply believe that the hype for innovative stocks is going to come back and a company like AST Space Mobile is going to benefit dramatically from that movement. I don't currently own this stock, but I'm really thinking hard about buying my first shares of this company in the month of August. So 30 days from now, we're gonna have to see how this stock performs over the month of August. And I'll also go through whether I chose to buy shares or not. Stock pick number two for the month of August is one that I've talked about on this YouTube channel in the past, and I also own this in several of my stock market portfolios. This is Golden Nugget Online Gaming. If you can tell by their company name, they're focused on online gambling. If there was a list of the top five disrespected stocks in the stock market, without a doubt, this company would make the list. Over the next 12 months, this company is going to be expanding to seven additional states for their online gambling services. Obviously, that's going to represent exponential revenue growth. To add to my bull case here, Golden Nugget Online Gaming has around 30% market share in New Jersey, which is where the bulk of online gambling takes place currently. If they can even claim 20% market share by the time this industry matures, man, the upside for this company is extremely high. Right now, the company's valued at less than a billion dollars, but by the year 2025, I think it's safe to say that we'll be well over a billion dollars in revenue. The reason I believe this is because most industry experts believe that this industry is going to reach a valuation of a hundred billion dollars. If Golden Nugget Online Gaming can capture that 20% of the hundred billion dollar market, well, that theoretically could put a $20 billion valuation on this company. But again, it all depends on how quickly they can expand and how much cash they need to burn to do so. So moving forward, the main bullish catalyst for this company is obviously the expansion to the additional states. And again, over the next 12 months, they're gonna to expand to seven new additional states. The main concern is the cash burn that they have in order to make this expansion. For example, if they don't profit enough on their existing operations, they're likely going to have to dilute shareholders or take on a massive amounts of additional debt which obviously wouldn't be good for shareholders. But based on this expansion alone, I think GNOG stock is gonna perform very, very well throughout the rest of 2021. Moving on to my third and final stock pick, we're gonna be talking about ClainSpark, ticker symbol CLSK. Where do I even start with this one? Their current valuation puts them at around $450 million, meaning the company as a whole is valued at that amount. That is ridiculous. In 2022, based on what CleanSpark is projecting, they're literally going to do more than their market cap in revenue just next year in 2022. That on its own is an eye-opening figure, but stack on the fact that this company is going to have 60 to 80% margins on that revenue, you can see that this valuation makes no sense for this company. What CleanSpark does is they are a clean Bitcoin mining company with energy at its core meaning that CleanSpark started out as an energy and microgrid company. They still have this existing business segment and it's performing very, very well. However, recently towards the end of 2020, they got into Bitcoin mining. And right now they have over 95% carbon free mining at their facilities in Atlanta. In addition to being a clean Bitcoin mining company themselves, they help other Bitcoin miners achieve that carbon free footprint. As an example, CleanSpark just recently announced a partnership with CoinMint the world's largest digital currency data center. 
it's really hard for me to believe that CleanSpark won't have a tremendous last half of 2021. I mean, the valuation is so disrespectful for this company, right alongside GNOG stock, which we just talked about. So I guess you could say with this month of August, our common theme is finding disrespected and misunderstood companies. And honestly, if you can accurately do that as a stock market investor, your return is gonna beat the markets exponentially year in and year out. So in the month of August, I hope all three of these stocks do very, very well. First, we had ASTS stock. Second, we had GNOG stock. And third, we had CLSK stock. With that, let me know down in the comment section below what stocks you're gonna be buying in the month of August. Let me know if any of these stocks interest you as well. Please feel free to hit that like button. And again, if you guys are new here or returning not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And with that, I'll be back with a brand new video on Wednesday. Peace out.